Hello, it's Sarah, and I've been playing. I shared these um, Zentangle ATCs I made the other day, and so of course I needed a place to keep them, so I decided to make a little ATC holder. And this is like the ones I made last year. Um, I made one for my Tim Holtz ones, I made one for Christmas ones and Halloween ones. And so I just made this one pink and black, mostly pink, so the inside looks all pink, which I love. And um, then I zentangled this um, name, Zentangle, and made some flowers for the front. And I guess I could actually, and I think I should, do something for the back. Like this could even fit on there, but I have to color. Actually, this is just colored in with my pink Wink Estella. That's all I did. I took this pink, let's see what it's called, something dark pink, GL dark pink, Wink Estella brush, um, and I just colored in the flowers and the words, and then I used my gold Wink Estella for the, um, yeah, you can see the shimmer for the centers. But anyway, so you just can put your ATCs in there and I am enjoying this Zentangle stuff I've been watching more videos and some people are just like they have a natural talent for it and um, it's amazing like what they come up with but I'm a cheater I like to copy so I will continue to copy and enjoy but I put a little handle I love it I think I might hang it um, over there on my rack um, and I also was playing with the clay again. I had <coughs> Maya and I started, um, she started her ATC, but she had to go get a bath. But I finished mine. Um, I love it. I love how it turned out. I wanted, I knew I wanted to make an applique one. Um, and look how thin it came out. I think this is like a five setting on the um, pasta machine. Um, but it's it is thin and I mean it's baked and it is it is the size. Let me see an ATC from here. So I mean it's it's ATC size. That is so cool because it's there's not a lot of um, height to it or anything or bulk. I mean I made bulkier ones out of paper. I don't know. I'm just really happy with it. So I just made these swirlies. Um, it's just all clay, but then I did add the Perfect Pearls. I, I used a green Perfect Pearls on the background. Like, after I finished it, I just took a brush and, like, stuck it in the nooks and crannies on the background, and I did blue. I just added blue um, uh, Perfect Pearls to the top part, like, in the background. Um, oh, and I put, like, um, I put white Perfect Pearls and some gold on the sun. So I kind of just played with that. Um, but I love it. I think it turned out cool. Like, I'm just loving, like, look at that. That is really not bulky at all. Anyway, um, <laughs> and then I made two more bottles of Hope. Um, and a couple of you are asking me about <clears throat> the Polymer Clay Adventure. And it's, um, a website. I think it's Polymer Clay TV. But if you Google um, virtual retreat polymer clay adventure just google polymer clay adventure it'll come up and you can get to the website I don't know if you'll be able to get in to, to the bottles of hope um, if they're not doing it um, because you have to pay to be in the virtual retreat I paid a hundred dollars for all year I'm gonna get classes so there's another class tomorrow there was already one class already this month um, the bangle bracelets so um, Probably the website, um, oh man, I, um, I'll have to look, maybe I'll have to figure out how to put a link, like an actual link that links you there, um, but if you, see I Google everything, so if any, if even if I know a name, I'll just Google it, so, um, that's what I do, um, anywho, I'm sure you can donate these, um, regardless, maybe Gilda's Club, that's um, a cancer organization that my mom belonged to um, when she was diagnosed. She joined that, and they have support groups, and 
They have cra I actually taught crafting there. I painted there with them. Um, they have massage therapy, like a bunch of stuff they offer free. They have kids counseling and different stuff. Um, but anyway, um, bottles of hope also org. You could just go to that and I'm sure that you could send them to them and they'll, um, uh, dole out the, the bottles for you. So anyway, this was the first one I made and this is a black clay with like silver sparkles. It had glitter in it and I loved it. All I did was, um, perfect pearls it, purple perfect pearls. Um, and just put a bunch of celestial charms and findings that I had. Um, these actually are not silver or metal, and they did melt. But I took, you know, the broken ones out, and I replaced them. I glued them in, um, and just put stickles in the middle because there was clay in the middle of the other ones. Um, then uh, I used little, I put little texture marks, just these three little dots all over the place. Um, and just embedded different findings into the clay. So this is just kind of a celestial one. I put, um, of course, my Made With Love charm, a little um, star charm, and an angel, a little tiny angel charm. So that one turned out cute, but I love this black clay. Um, and then this is a totally different look. It's the same clay. I used the black clay again. You can kind of see it on the bottom. But it's so sparkly um, and this one I just used uh, gold um, perfect pearls after I'm done I uh, you know I stamped hope and I actually took my black gel pen and just go inside there to make it pop more um, and rub a little perfect pearls around the background just gently I mean it's heavier in some areas I actually think I used a brush again I like to use a brush because you can get into the nooks and crannies easier. And just use some gold clay to make different swirlies and different texture. I made a little heart there with the swirlies. And this time I, people had asked me too, how do you adhere the clay to the bottle? You just roll the bottle onto the clay and put it on. But I was getting air bubbles. So I cut the clay up to here because these bottles have like a neck and instead of folding it up and trying to mash it down and get it to fit, I just, um, I cut the clay and just adhered it to the first part and then I kind of put different um, twisties in there. Like I put a roll of clay, a roll of clay, like I kind of layered the neck on this one and I really like how that turned out. I put a gold made with love heart and a dragonfly dangle that I made and a big gold bead on top. Actually, I think that's a little peachy. I might want to find a golder bead. Um, and again, I just used um, an eye pin to attach that in. These are cool though, guys. I'm going to probably make a couple more. I did buy another pack. The Tim Holtz thing comes with three big ones. These three, this, these three size, and then, no, no, wait, this, these three. And then there's just like little ones, which I have a couple out here. I was going to see if I, they're little though. They're like really little. I thought these would just be more appropriate size wise. Um, so anywho, um, that's it. I'm playing with the clay tomorrow. The class tomorrow is going to be a caricature. It's a raccoon, a little raccoon guy. So maybe I'll do that. I might sculpt a raccoon. And uh, I forget the artist's name. Oh, man. Me and my brain. But anyway, so these are cool. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.